Hey, hey, hey everyone. I'm Rosie from K15T and this is your weekly dose of Confluence. This episode is all about documentation, but more specifically, documentation within Confluence. Thanks to its user-friendliness and real-time collaboration, we're passionate about Confluence for documentation purposes. But Confluence alone isn't a magical solution. The real magic lies in structuring your content effectively. You've probably found yourself in this situation before. You know that information exists somewhere out there, but you just can't find it. We've all been there. And this is exactly why it's crucial that your documentation is easy to find. First and foremost, this matters for the purpose of efficiency. Quick access to information cuts down on frustrations for the reader, as well as saving time for, well, everything else. Additionally, when documentation is easily accessible, it streamlines the sharing of knowledge for your entire team. For the case of external-facing documentation, a well-thought-out structure will allow customers to find the answers that they're looking for all by themselves, reducing frustrations and also the need for them to reach out for further support. Your Confluence network could be full of valuable insights, from product pages to meeting notes. But if it's impossible to navigate, then what's really the point? We're here to make sure that when questions arise, the answers are only a click away. When creating documentation in Confluence, it's a good idea to keep these following tips in mind. First, understand how users search and find information. Everyone has their own search preferences. Some navigate through space structure, while others use the Confluence dashboard or the quick search. Cater to everyone by maintaining consistent naming conventions. Next, you want to structure your content. Try not to squeeze everything onto one page. Rather, think of structuring your topic like an onion. First, give the reader a rough overview and then peel back each layer of the topic. The more clearly that the content is presented, the easier it is for your users to find the right information. And our third tip is to write for your user. Your titles and headings should be clear and precise, making it easy to find things when scrolling through. Optimize your content with relevant keywords, as this will ensure that your pages show up in Confluence's search results. If your team relies on documentation as much as our team does, then these tips are sure to keep you on the right track. And with our scroll apps, we take this experience even further, presenting our documentation in a highly customizable and well-structured online help center. Want to see this in action? Join our upcoming Scroll Apps Customer Showcase webinar on Thursday, December 7th. Discover real life success stories and learn how teams have transformed Confluence into their ultimate documentation hub. Click the link up here or in the description to secure your spot in the webinar. Before we wrap it up completely for this week, we should mention that Confluence did have a few small updates. If you want to get the full scoop, go ahead and check it out in our newsletter, which you can subscribe to through the link in our description. As usual, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Confluence news and tips, and thanks for watching!